Let's bring in former Daily Mail U.S. politics editor David Martosco and The Hill national politics reporter Julia Manchester. Uh, I want to share this uh, first with you, David, and maybe Julia get you to react as well. This is from Frank Luntz. He's talking about this idea of if you continue to persecute the former president, it only works to his benefit with voters. Listen to what Frank Luntz has to say. Get your reaction on the other side. If the New York attorney general starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. David, your reaction? Well, I think Frank's absolutely right. First of all, you can imagine if she starts seizing properties, the rallies after that will be completely just lit. Oh, yeah. He's going to say, if they can do this to me, they can do it to you. And I spent a lot of time around the former president in the last eight years or so, and I'll tell you, he's always trying to think of a way to use his opponent's momentum against them. Mm. What's the jujitsu ju the line in this? And here's what it might be. I mean, if he's got hundreds of millions of, of dollars in the bank, he could just go on a buying spree, go up and buy a bunch of businesses in swing states in the next two weeks or something like that. Hey, all of a sudden, there's not a lot of cash to seize, and wait till Letitia James starts going around and seizing businesses in swing states. I can only imagine what this must be doing in the halls at the New York AG's office. They have this idea, we're going to hit them where it hurts. But I think David makes a great point, Julia. This could really backfire. It could absolutely backfire. It could galvanize Trump's base, and it definitely gives images and, in a way, evidence to him saying, look, I'm a victim of this. And when I say evidence, I mean, you know, people will see it on their TV. They'll yeah. read about it and such. The question I have is, and I don't know the answer to this, but how does this impact independent and swing voters? Do mm. they look at this and do they say, wow, this guy is right. Maybe he is a victim. Um, should I, you know, vote for him and push back against that? Or do they say, look, I'm sick of the baggage? I'm sick of this. And do they vote on another issue? We'll have to see. But for his base, this is definitely red meat. Yeah, red meat for the red uh, voters. Let me uh, get you both to weigh in on this latest CNN poll. Uh, we're talking about how the president and the former president, perhaps, are seen at least among voters of color. Uh, this is really fascinating because, as you see there, President Trump is actually leading the former president in the preferential race there in Michigan. But here's what's also interesting. Among voters of color, Biden's edge, according to CNN, went from 62 points to just 21. Why? And is that a worry for the White House moving forward as we get closer to November? It's absolutely a worry. And we've seen uh, Biden's approval rating with voters of color or his support from voters of color starting to chip away, particularly among Hispanic men. voters. And we even started to see it among some black voters, particularly black men. Now, does this mean that, you know, and I say this with black voters because they typically tend to lean Democratic, does this mm -hmm. mean that they're going to vote for Trump in droves? Probably not. But it means that that they're probably not enthusiastic, as very feeling very enthusiastic right. about President Biden, and that you know there could be the question of whether they sit this out, similarly to how a number of Arab American voters are feeling. Twenty seconds left for you, David, to sort of piggy bank on what Julia is talking about. If they sit on their hands, uh, I, you could lose Michigan very easily. You could, you could also lose Pennsylvania if black voters sit on their hands. But this just shows you that black voters, white voters, all of us care about the same things. Egg prices and bacon prices are going up for everybody. Gas prices are going up for everybody. Unemployment is going up for everybody. Everything costs more. And I don't care where you're from or, or whether you're a voter of color or not. It's got to hit you. And I'll tell you, I can't wait for the time when pollsters stop stratifying people based on their color. David and Julia, you guys are terrific as always. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.